we are able to do something that is normally never done, which is to mix crowds in an organic way. You know, uh, galleries have a certain type of crowd and music festivals have a certain type of crowd. Museum culture and gallery culture is, in a way, fairly isolated within our, within our larger society. And so it's exciting for me to reach new audiences and have different, different people see the work. And what's interesting is that since this type of art that's based on light and computation and interactivity is sort of an emerging field, we're giving these people an opportunity to, to get familiar with it and to then become curious about what else there is out there. Technology, music, and visual things are merging quickly. I think that people enjoy the combination and they enjoy going between these mediums. And I think in the future, there won't be a difference between them. And I think one of the things that makes this festival great also is that it puts them together. A lot of digital art festival mix uh, music and installations, art installations, but this festival uh, in particular has like big headliners that bring different kind of people. And uh, we felt like a lot of people were not really aware of what this light art is or digital art is and looking at their reaction was really motivating because I think it felt pure. Today it would be boring to dissociate music and art of music and visual and I think it should be a new standard of festival. A lot of the musicians who are here performing at, at Day for Night are some of my favorites. Um, so being able to show alongside them is extraordinary for one. And to be in a place which is really elevating, putting things side by side, that for me that's really beautiful. And that, that's a kind of special thing and you don't see that, I haven't seen that in, in, in America at all. This, this kind of music festival with art, that's what is exciting about being in a space like this.